everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's blog. Uh, today we're talking all about fitting your dog, uh, both sizing and um, how to wear dog collars properly. So we actually um, have a few different styles which fit differently and are sized differently and are used differently. So uh, we'll go through each of them and then I'll use my dog over here to uh, show you exactly how to measure and how to wear uh, martingale collars properly. So what people normally have are uh, these buckled collars, which are super common, nothing really wrong with them. They're great tag collars, um, but somebody saw that maybe they're not the greatest uh, and improved upon them, which is the martingale collar. So these are pretty typical. Uh, we make them in metal buckled versions, plastic buckled versions, and we also have uh, gold and silver for one inch uh, collars. So they come in a variety of widths, three quarter inch all the way up to two inch. And we also have a blog entry about helping uh, choose the different width for uh, that's right for your dog. So what we'll be talking about for the majority of this post today are, are two different martingale collars. So we have uh, fabric martingale collars, which um, are super popular. Uh, they're really great because the, they come in wider widths. Uh, so if you have a dog that's a pretty good puller, uh, the wider width is going to be a lot more gentle on your dog's neck than, than a thin one. So this one here, just for your own reference, is an inch and a half, which is slightly bigger than your typical store-bought collar. For larger dogs, they're typically one inch here, and for smaller dogs, they're typically three-quarter inch. So we do make these fabric uh, martingales for all widths, three-quarter inch all the way up to two. So the main difference with a fabric or, or a metal um, check chain martingale are, is that it's adjustable. So you have um, your typical um, adjustable portion here, web slide, so you can adjust the size. But it also has this uh, ring that will adjust as well. So you slip this over your dog's head uh, and fit it sort of looser than you would a typical uh, buckled collar. And I'll show you exactly how to use it in a minute. And uh, it kind of adjusts as the dog pulls. So that'll be make more sense uh, in a minute. So we have this fabric version uh, and we also have a check chain version. So it's the exact same style. A lot of people see this and think it is a um, choke chain, but it's not really. It's the exact same as the fabric martingale. Um, and it's, if you're using it as a choke chain, you're probably not actually using it properly. So you really lose a lot of the benefits of, um, of this collar, especially because you, uh, your dog will be able to slip out of it if you're not using it properly. So we'll go through all that and we'll actually use this one to demonstrate on my dog in a minute. Okay, so we're going to start off with, uh, measuring your dog. So how exactly do you measure your dog for an NACC collar? So instead of sizing, uh, we don't allow or we don't provide small, medium, large except for our last of collection because those items are typically pre-made and we already kind of know what size they are and what measurements they fit. So for those, uh, you can always send us an email if you're unsure. If you've purchased from an HCC before, you might already know what size uh, your dog is. Um, but be sure to check. It's always good to include your dog's neck measurement in the notes of that as well, just so we can make sure that you purchased the right size and that we're sending the right one to you. Um, so it's really important. Let's have her sit here. Sit. Sit. Yep. Is to measure that your dog at the top of the neck because especially with uh, custom sized uh, collars and uh, especially those for puppies, if you measure at the bottom, I'm gonna end up making a collar that's too big for you to start off with. Because the smallest part of the neck is up here at the top, I would recommend just doing it right beneath the ears here. You can see on her. <laughs> and uh, do it in inches as well. So for reference, Reese is about 50 pounds and she's 14 and a quarter inches. So she fits really perfectly into a medium. Uh, but always recommend you put the actual measurement in there so I can always double check and make sure that it's being uh, fit properly. Okay, so we're here with uh, my trusty companion here. Let me just adjust so you can see her well. So I'm going to be fitting uh, the check chain martingale onto her today. I've already kind of um, fitted on her, uh, but uh, essentially you'll loosen it 
to bigger than you think that you need. Reese, come. She's very impatient today. <laughs> Sit. And then instead of unbuckling like you would a buckled collar, as you notice, there's not a buckle on here, you are just going to slip it over your dog's head. So she's very patient if you have a dog uh, that isn't as receptive to you putting a collar on and off their head. I recommend you use a very high reward. So whether that's treats or otherwise treating as you're getting close to their head and as you put it over their head and really reward them once they uh, cooperate and let you put it on. Uh, so when you're fitting the martingale collar, you want to make sure that the two rings touch. And in the case of the fabric martingale, you want to make sure that the two web slides touch. Okay. So here we already have it fit onto her. The two rings touch. And you'll notice that when she's off leash, like she is now, it's just going to loosely sit at the base of her neck. Get you to reset. Sit. Yes. So it sits loosely at the base of her neck, but when we're actually measuring um, and fitting it onto her, I'm using the top because that's the smallest part of the neck. And if you adjust it to the bottom, she's going to be able to slip it out off of her head um, because it's a bigger uh, part of her neck. So these are really good for dogs that have small heads, but it's also great for, for really any dog. Um, just because it has that extra safety feature that prevents them from backing out. So we'll pretend like she's on a leash. It's a little bit loose normally, uh, especially if you have a, a small dog. Make sure that you're tightening it just a little bit so the dog, uh, the, the extra loop isn't getting caught in your dog's uh, feet or hanging down too loosely on them. For dogs like Reese, she's about 50 pounds. Uh, really, I don't adjust it when she's at home because it sits pretty nicely at the base of her neck. So you'll kind of have to adjust that and judge uh, based off of how it fits your dog and, and what you'll do at home. So if she were on a leash, she was walking nicely, there would be no pulling, right? Um, and it's important here, like I said, not to use it as a means of correction because that's not the main point. When people use it for correction, they'll put it a little bit too tight around the dog's neck and you'll see that the chain is going to be touching their neck at the smallest point. So yes, it would provide a correction, um, but it's not going to provide that safety because if it is looser, they have the potential to slip it off over their head. Now this one's fit perfectly, um, and if Reese were poorly behaved, which she's not usually, um, she might back out. But because it's tightened to the top of her neck, it actually won't allow her to slip her head out. Uh, so these are really good, really safe collars. Um, I highly recommend them. The check chain is my favorite style uh, because it's the most durable and um, has, a lot of, uh, has a lot of character to it, I think. Uh, but the, the fabric martingales as well are the exact same thing. Um, you s just slip it over their head the same way. One important thing to note <laughs> about the fabric martingales is that when you're putting it on, make sure that the adjustable loop is touching your dog's neck. Um, just to start off with before you adjust it. Because if you put your dog's head through the wrong hole, it might get stuck. Um, it's just not going to adjust. That's not how collars work. So right through this uh, main circle here, the adjustable portion is t would be touching the dog's head. Um, and the same thing for these buckled collars. Just make sure a lot of people set them uh, to the bottom of the dog's neck. And if you kind of want to have the, the safer version of the buckled collar, I'd recommend setting it to the top of the neck. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in with us. Um, and thanks, Reese, for being patient, even though she ran away on me a few times during this taping. Uh, please feel free to email us if you have any questions on sizing, uh, custom order requests, anything. It's nhcollarco at gmail.com, or you can use the contact form to get a hold of us. So thanks for tuning in.